Virgo, this is going to be your full moon reading. I hope you're doing well. So we're going to get right into it like we always do. We're going to get into your partner's feelings, what's coming towards them. Just trying to get a sense of what energy is around them right now. Okay. Just going to do a quick spread for you guys for this full moon. This is very powerful. We have the Six of Cups, which has been coming out a lot for signs. Um, we have the Hierophant, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So just going off a of repeat card, some of you are dealing with a um, Leo, because Leo had these two cards. So I'm just saying if we're going off of energies that are very similar, some of you have a Leo mate or spouse. Six of Cups, very blissful times coming towards your partner. Your partner is feeling a sense of duty to the partnership here. Um, Wheel of Fortune and the outcome. They may not be making many decisions right now. They are in a very nostalgic mode and they are feeling very um, grounded to the partnership. I don't really feel like you have someone who wants to do too much movement right now or make too many decisions. Some of you, it could be a Taurus as well. There is a Queen of Discs sitting at the bottom of the deck. Capricorn or Taurus or Virgo like yourself I feel like the ball's kind of in your court though Virgo for some of you whatever change you kind of want to make right now it's not kind of up to your partner um, of course they have a decision like they have free will but they're in a very nostalgic mode in a very um I'm gonna let the cards fall where they may right now mood they're very um focused on the relationship I don't see them, you know, trying to make too many transitions. I think that they're thinking very positive about you at this point. At least, you know, that's what I'm getting from the cards. So let's get into your feelings. Some of you are having anxiety, that's for sure. Sleepless nights. Some of y'all out there need to get sleep. I feel like for a lot of you, finances could be an issue. It's more about love. Some of you are sticking to a career that you might need to change because you feel very attached to it. It's not just about um, love for some of you. But you have the Three of Swords coming towards you. So some of you are going to make the decision to cut cut ties with this person king of pentacles and maybe someone that you've supported financially for a while for some of you or you're just tired um like i said this is job for some of you coming up yep four swords death card in the outcome this is the death card here um this is the three of swords which also insinuates a separation some of you have had your fill of being the supporter in a situation whether that's in a job uh, dealing with the job job longer than you should just because you've been at that job for a very long time um, same thing with the relationship okay your partner isn't really trying to leave or make a decision I think they're okay with the way things are you're the one who's kind of at your max here king of pentacles and if it's a job it's a job that you've peaked at and it's time to move on death card three of swords all right um, you guys didn't really mess with your end of October reading. I completely understand. It wasn't the card. It's that telling you that this is going to work. Um, a lot of people come to tarot readings because they want happy endings. I understand. But I, my moral code, I guess, will just not allow me to just give you guys a, a sappy reading that tells you that this is transformation and not an ending. Three of Swords in the death card here for some of you. And your partner really isn't making too much of an effort Either way, I feel like the ball is in your court. And for some of you, you're going to make the decision to cut it off. Majority of you are. Um, it's not that you haven't given to this partnership. I feel like you have done your due diligence. You have been through the, the ringer with this person. Even if it wasn't a completely toxic relationship or marriage, it's just you've peaked here. There's not, there, it's plateaued. You feel like the relationship isn't moving forward. And this, like I said, again, could very well be a job. 
because I'm getting very strong financial career things here, long standing positions, being out of somewhere very long that may not serve you financially and you've peaked there, okay? You're feeling like some weird loyalty that this job wouldn't feel to you if they really had to do like some massive layoff, okay? Six of Swords is also at the bottom of the deck, so grabbing your crap, doing what you gotta do. Virgo, y'all don't need too much talking to, y'all already, what can I tell y'all? Y'all already, y'all know it ever, y'all know it all. Wow, get out of town, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And you have another card down here. I'm gonna grab it, it fell out. Give me a sec. We've got true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So for some of you, this is about love. If you have a better offer on the table from someone, maybe it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm getting Taurus very strongly. Taurus is coming up all up in y'all reading. It could be you guys, Virgo, though. I really feel like this is true love is for yourself. Some of y'all are worked thin, worked thin at a job here. Free yourself, though. I think this is the card that meant to be. Honestly, this doesn't really match this reading. True love, look, for those who want to hear a great happy ending, here you go. This card can be for you. Um, not trying to be facetious, but maybe that card was for the general people who are going to watch this and feel like this doesn't resonate with them and that their relationship is going to withstand this fine but for those who are feeling this death card when it came out you were like this resonated with me this is you know your oracle card i feel like this matches and it actually is what came out on the table so yeah um I feel like I have to talk to you guys very practically. You guys don't like to hear too much of my advice, so I was just giving you guys straight up what's coming here. Um, and I think you have the ball here, and I think you're going to make the decision. I don't think it's your partner, because your partner seems to be okay with the status quo hierophant. They're like, eh, I'm going to continue to keep, keep it moving the way we've been. But this Wheel of Fortune could be meaning that now they've got to change up because you're leaving. Now they can't just continue to be um, apathetic in a, in a way, okay? So I'll go ahead and shut it down, Virgo. I really hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I don't mean any offense to anyone. Um, please don't take it personal. This is just how I talk. And I will see you guys in November, hopefully, okay? Bye. <laughs>